Hi guys, Audrey here, back with another tiny house adventure, and since Sam was away visiting his parents, this time I was joined by my sister Ariel. As you know, this summer we've been making an effort to travel locally and get to know our own backyard. So for this week's getaway, we rented a tiny cabin in the woods in Glen Huron, about an hour and 40 minutes north of Toronto. But even more exciting than that is the fact that Ariel and I finally got to meet our nephew. There might be tears because he really is the most beautiful baby and I've never seen anything so tiny and perfect. Now let's roll the footage. Well, hello guys. We are, <laughs> here's my sister. Hello. My sister, Again. Ariel. Um, today we are doing a tiny house stay in Glen Huron and I've been like falling asleep. I'm supposed to be navigating and I've been kind of like dozing <laughs> off. And we then- We missed our turn because we she did. was sleeping. We did. Um, well, I made Ariel go the wrong way. But we ended up in farmland. So we've seen sheep and cows and it's really pretty and really green. So- Maybe there's a reason yeah. why we missed it. Yeah, I know it, it, was, it was good. Hi Momo. Bye, Mumus. Look at the size of that hill. It's not so bad going down, it's gonna be coming up. So this whole time we have been on a quest to find a Tim Hortons. We've missed a total of three. Two of them were on the wrong side of the road and we realized way too late. And the other one, well, I fell asleep and took us on a four. We didn't even have a Tim Hortons sign, it's a country style. Like, huh? No, but then I saw it on my phone. It's like, oh, there it goes. Um, but anyways, I, I am awake now. I'm alert. I've napped enough. I've had chips. I've had chocolate. But now we have a storm brewing. Like it's getting real dark, real quick. So I just hope we make it there before it starts pouring rain. Like we wanted to go hiking today. I have a feeling we might be indoors. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they have board games. Somehow. I don't know, we'll see. Alright guys, so we have made it to the tiny home. Welcome, welcome. No Sam behind the camera today. So I'll be showing you around. Let's see what we can do together. So first things first, <laughs> here's my sister eating chocolate. Hiding, so we wouldn't make a mess. <laughs> Hiding, I've told her you can't make it messy until I film the tour. Um, so yeah, basically this is the entrance to the tiny home. And first things first, you have a mini living area, very Canadian plaid pattern, feeling the vibes. And yeah, we've got some cute polar polar bears, some cute polar bears <laughs> up here. <laughs> polar bears, polar bears, um, some books. So yeah, this is kind of like our little reading nook, I suppose, or just hangout area. And then over here, that brings us to the kitchen. It's a small kitchen, but it looks very functional. So basically here we've got our sink. It's covered right now with what you can use as a chopping board. We have hot and cold water here because there is a water heater that I still need to plug in and turn on. And then over here, they left us some tea, it looks like. Yeah, different teas. We have some sugar, hand sanitizer, some dish towels. We have some cooking utensils. What else? Ooh, up here on this little shelf, we have all of our plates, our mugs. We have wine glasses, cutlery, coffee maker. So we are kind of set in the cooking department. What else? Oh, we have a mini fridge. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! And what else? A little toaster oven. We actually did all of our meal prep while we were still at home because we weren't sure what the situation was going to be like. We also have a like a barbecue outside so you can grill or cook stuff up over there. But yeah, we're going to be having tacos and it's all ready made. So it's super easy. And what else down here? OK, this is kind of like a little cozy area. I'm going to call it the dining room. It looks like a dining room. So we have a cute little bench little table in front of us, a nice window that looks into the forest. 
And honestly, this could double as like a little workspace or a little office. Very cozy. We have some cushions here, some pillows. They left us some kind of puzzle. So yeah, this is where we'll be eating our meals. And then the only other thing that we have downstairs is the bathroom. So let me take you in there. This is actually the fanciest bathroom we've had at any of our tiny house stays. We have a compost toilet and we also have the luxury of a shower. There we are. First time we've ever had a shower. It's usually just been compost toilets and we bring whoa, some, some wet wipes to like freshen up. So <laughs> really we do. Oh, you need arms in there. I, I know. Um, so yeah, this time we're only staying one night. So I don't think we really need, need a shower, but hey, if you wanted one, it's there. Oh, we also have a TV right over here, just across from the couch. And they left us a huge movie selection. If you can see that, we've got, I don't know, I'd say maybe like 40, 50 different movies to choose from. So maybe we'll pick one out for this evening. And then the only thing left to show you is the bedroom. So we have to climb up to the loft. So let's do that. Okay, so we have made it to the bedroom. We are a little backlit, but basically this is the view. We've got, it looks like a Christmas tree farm out there to be honest. Ariel is getting stuff from the car. We forgot all of our drinking water. Looks like she's being attacked by mosquitoes. Fight those mosquitoes, fight them off. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. The mosquitoes have been horrible, relentless. Um, and <laughs> she's running back in. Also, before I forget, if you watched our last tiny house video, Glasses USA is extending a 65% discount off of their frames. So if you need some new specs, you can check that out. We've got a link in the description for you. There we go. <laughs> she, she was attacked. She came back so quick. Um, but yeah, basically this is the bedroom area. I think you can sit upright. In between the beams. You can sit upright in between the beams if you're not too, too tall. So it's surprisingly comfortable. Like when I was booking this place, I thought maybe we wouldn't be able to really sit, that we would just be kind of crawling. But this definitely makes it more comfortable for like reading or watching movies, just hanging out up here. And what else? Bed looks comfy. We have lots of pillows and cushions and they have these cute little stars, twinkly lights starlights, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, this is the view from up top. Voila, this is the tiny home, sister getaway. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, she says. Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show you on the inside. Next up, I'm gonna put on some long pants, a long sleeve, and I'll show you the deck area. I need to guard myself from the mosquitoes because I feel like bug spray doesn't work well enough. So let's go. Okay guys, now we go outside. I have prepared myself as much as possible. This is the outfit. Can you see it? Pajamas, socks, oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, let's tour the exterior. First of all, our little tiny house is right at the start of a trail so that we can go hiking in the morning or maybe even later this afternoon, but we wanna eat first. So that's really cool. Hiking trail right at our doorstep. Also, I love that they have so many little bird houses in varying sizes and varying colors. It's just very bright and cheerful. Like look, here we have another one, a blue one, and they have the Christmas lights up. So yeah, it just feels really, really festive. But yeah, let me show you around. Basically, we have this little deck area um, for outdoor dining when it's not raining. So there's a table there for four people and then another little table down there for two. We have a barbecue if you wanted to grill some burgers, hot dogs, you know, your standard camp food. What's this? It says welcome friends. I wonder if it's bird food here. Oh, I think that's for people who smoke. It's a, a bucket with sand. <laughs> Yeah, they also have Christmas ornaments on the trees. So this is really cool. I like the outdoor area. They've made it a very inviting place where you want to linger and hang out. And then we have 
our outhouse. We actually have two toilets at our disposal here. They told us they would prefer if we used the outhouse, but for emergencies, especially in the middle of the night, we have a toilet inside of the tiny home that we can also use. It's a compost toilet. So we are now in the kitchen prepping our dinner tacos. Thankfully, we pre-cooked the meat back at home because it turns out we don't actually have a stove. And that's my bad for not reading the description thoroughly. But what we do have is a toaster oven. So we've put our meat in there. We're just heating it up now. And we've already prepped everything else. So the guacamole has been made. It's looking good. We have our taco shells, our tortillas. So we're all set in that regard. Oh, and cherries for dessert. My first bite of our chicken tacos here, and I'm honestly pretty impressed. First time having ground chicken as taco filling, okay? But it turned out pretty tasty. I think I did too much as always. Mm -hmm. But it could be spicier. The salsa, it's not the hot one. Oh, and I think just regular. We should have brought hot sauce. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Ready to go hiking? Ready to go hiking. Are you guys ready to go hiking? We're ready. We're ready. Trail entrance. So we might have been overly optimistic about that hike. Even though we were wearing long pants, long sleeves, and we covered ourselves in repellent, the mosquitoes decided our faces and ears were prime locations for their attack. And we only lasted a few minutes before we were sprinting back to the safety of the cabin. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, one came in. We have to kill it. Oh no, wait, wait. It's not such a bad weather after all. We opted for a movie night instead and watched Night at the Museum and Alice in Wonderland. Good night. Good night. Well, guys, that is it for tonight. We watched two back-to-back -back movies. I fell asleep during the first one. I fell Ariel, during the second one. Ariel fell asleep during the second one. I was awake through the second. We watched Night at the Museum and then Alice in Wonderland. And yeah, we're gonna get a good night's rest and tomorrow we have an exciting day because my sister and I are gonna go meet our little nephew for the first time, newborn nephew. So we're really excited. Um, so yeah, good night, toodlies. Good morning, world. Hello, hello, sister. Hello, good morning. How did you sleep in your first tiny house? <laughs> It wasn't bad. It was just there are little Christmas lights outside that kind of pretty bright. And the window had like no curtains, so it was just kind of blinding me. Uh, I think but overall it's possible. Yeah. Good yeah. experience. It was it was fun. Um I, I actually had a good night's sleep. I feel like I'm used to this whole tiny house. You slept like a baby. I slept like a baby. I was like you I'm were tired. twitching and good kicking and snoring. I'm like, oh okay. I, I don't think I was snoring. But yeah, it rained really hard early in the morning. I think it must have been like four or five when we had yeah. this huge it's torrential downpour. Yeah. That actually woke me up just like the rain hitting the roof and it was coming down so hard i was like oh my gosh car please don't get stuck in the mud <laughs> um but yeah we're all good as you saw yesterday we couldn't handle the trail the hiking trail we really wanted to do a bit of hiking but i just keep forgetting like during the summer months in ontario a lot of mosquitoes it's in the forest. impossible like this would be a beautiful place did it get in? No, it's outside. <laughs> Is it in? Where? <laughs> it's on the window. This would be a beautiful place, I would say, in autumn. Early autumn. Or winter. Or like, yeah, or mid-autumn when like the foliage is changing because it has a nice deck area. So like mm -hmm. you can hang out outside. And then also once the temperatures begin to drop, the mosquitoes aren't attacking you. So you can go for long walks, enjoy the crisp air. So that's when I would suggest visiting. But yeah, we didn't get to hike, which is kind of sad. I mean, we made it for like a minute and a half, two minutes. Yeah, we're like, no, we're going back, far. we're going back, turn around. So there's lots of hiking to be done here. It's just, 
not the right time of year <laughs> or like you need to like bathe yourself in bug spray like we wore bug spray mm. and it was still bad yeah. um so yeah we're saying goodbye to the tiny home and now we're going to drive to my sister's house in Innisfil. It's about a one hour drive from here. Yeah. But Tim Horton's on the way. Yeah, Tim Hortons. We need our coffee. <laughs> okay, we did our Timmy's run for all the non-Canadians. I wonder if you can see it over my shoulders. Maybe. Tim Hortons is right over there. It's basically a coffee chain, like Dunkin' Donuts or... <clears throat> Well, McDonald's, <laughs> not really a coffee chain, but they do good coffee. Um, so basically, I got the home style biscuit, breakfast biscuit. I forget what it's called. But it's a nice greasy biscuit with an omelet. It has bacon. It has cheddar cheese. It's very tasty. I also got a hash brown that I've already bitten into. I'll, sh I'll show you my sister's. This one is still intact. We've got that. And of course, Timmy's coffee to wake us up to start the day. I got the double double, so that's just like two milks, two sugars. And yeah, we are all set. It's actually still too early to get to my sister's house because she has to go grocery shopping and she won't be home for a while. So we're just hanging out in a parking lot in Stainer having our breakfast and then we'll continue driving. Waking it's gonna be an hour. Now. Yeah, and slowly waking up. But it's a nice overcast day. It's not raining, so it's actually kind of nice for driving. I like this weather. Oh, they're all crying! <laughs> <laughs> it's a crying thing. Oh, Hi, baby! He looks like a little wizard with his. <laughs> Say, hola, tías! Hola! Oh my gosh, he's got nails and everything. Yeah, they come out fully, <laughs> fully cooked. Oh, he can't keep on. socks on, gloves on, or swaddles on. <laughs> But if we go in, you guys can grab them. Yeah. You want me to but bring you get to bring groceries, groceries down. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he can get them. Look. So cute. I just valued it. It said it's so fuzzy. It feels like a peach. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you look beautiful. You're so beautiful. It's because he's due for food. That's why he cries. Ashley's going to feed you now. Oh. You're hungry, aren't you? Yeah. I've never seen a baby so little. I <laughs> want to meet them when they're bigger. <laughs> yeah, he's not even a preemie. Ashley's going to feed you now. It's feeding time. Is that a fart? <laughs> oh my gosh. Those sound like Wait, diarrhea I'm farts. Okay, pause for a minute. I better stop with all the crying and baby footage here. I know my sister Ashley will be introducing little Sebastian on her YouTube channel soon, so more perfect baby squishy rolls coming up over on her channel. Well, guys, that was so cute. So cute. It was a fun day. Oh my gosh. So sweet. Um, yeah, that's our little nephew. That is Sebastian Daniel, and he is adorable. Today, he was four days old. Um, so yeah, we spent a few hours at my sister's place um, with her husband Anthony and yeah, it was just so nice to hold the baby. I changed the diaper twice. I helped the Ariel first time. Ariel participated teamwork. the first time, exactly. And yeah, it was just such a nice day. We're coming back in a few days to spend more time with the little guy. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining us in the tiny home and then as we met our little nephew. And yeah, we're just driving back home now, another hour plus. Hour, hour 20, hour and a half. Yeah, so that is all for today. Toot See Bye. you soon.